Oh my god. Good morning guys. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Today we're going to be doing a lure review on one of my favorite baits of the 1980s. Herb Reed's original Sluggo. Uh, developed in 1987 by Lunker City, this was really one of the first viral baits that I remember. But when this thing came out, it was like nothing I'd ever seen before. That jerkbait motion, that erratic action, um, it honestly had both the fish and the bass fishermen going nuts. Here's what I'm talking about. So here we go. Here's a pack from 1987. This thing's about 30 years old. But this bait holds up today. I know just about every other plastic lure company out there has a version of the Sluggo, but the original still has a special place in my heart. I don't fish with a ton anymore, but today we're in Texas. It's springtime. The bass are shallow. And I think we're going to have a pretty good day with the Sluggo. From the pines up to the coast Someone saw a demon While another thing they saw a ghost Got wings in the air And the devil in the wild Nobody knows what Mother Lee said Which cuss newborn child Was 13 son born to a common man Down in a common town Born in a barren land Newborn child. Bam! There we go. Nice little sluggo fish. Man, I like swung and missed on like three fish before I, I got this little guy. We're fishing a grass flat and I am just popping this thing over some eelgrass. He smoked it as soon as I threw it in there though, so I finally got him. Nice little largemouth on the original, the classic. Six and a half inch sluggo. Let's let him go. So I remember when this bait came out in 1987. There was a little tackle shop called the Tackle Box, about a 20 minute bike ride from my uh, house. Sold them from Lunker City, and I think it was like in a four or five pack that they had, which included five baits and one hook. Only had a couple colors. Had, of course, the chartreuse pepper that I'm fishing today. I've got silver shad, gold shad, a blue shad, which is sort of a really kind of cool blue bellied color, red shad. Oh, I think that might have been it. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. Don't, oh, don't get off. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, come on, babe. Oh, that's a nice, oh, ho, ho. Oh, dude. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, man. Come here. 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 Don't get off. Gotcha. 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 Ha <laughs> ha. Wow. Yes. Look at that. Oh, that's an awesome little fish. Let's check him out. So he smoked it. As I said, when this lure came out, oh, man. It was, it was awesome. You could not get these things fast enough. This is a nice little, uh, nice little one, two pounder. Oh boy, he smoked it. Awesome fish. And then to make an already pretty ridiculous bait, <laughs> even more ridiculous, Lunker City came out with the bubblegum sluggo. I mean, if there is ever a lure that does not immediately instill lack of confidence, boy, it was this thing but I smoked a ton of little bass in my youth on the bubble gum slugger. I'm spraying this thing down with a little bit of uh, spike it anise oil. I feel like those fish are holding on a little bit longer when I do get a strike. All right, bubble gum, let's see.
Oh, 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 first cast of the bubble gum. Oh, that's a nice fish. First cast of the bubble gum. Oh, nice fish. Oh, son. Oh, son. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. If I can get you. Gotcha. Bubblegum bass. <laughs> How silly. Look at that thing. I, I mean, it really should not catch fish. In fact, I think when this thing first came out, they called it... Obviously, it had the name Jerkbait, and the joke was... He felt like a jerk for fishing with such a lure. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know if I lost that fish, but I was about six inches from losing my camera. Wow. <laughs> and now I've got a lunker. Holy smokes. That was crazy. That was crazy. Look at that fish. Awesome, awesome fish on the sluggo. <sighs> Look at this, guys. There's my camera. There's my tripod. I set the hook on this dude. And this tracker is awesome, but boy, it moves around a lot. I set the hook on this dude. And immediately I turn around and my camera is careening toward the lake. <laughs> I dove back, I grabbed it. It was about, honestly, 12 inches from the water. And there's a little fish. All right, buddy. Thanks again, man. <sighs> wow, I'm gonna, need a, I'm gonna need a break after that. I got this tattoo of you way back in 44. It's just a young sailor heading to a bloody war. Yeah, tattoo was amazing. You were looking so fine. Getting off the water. Uh, the good news is we survived today. Look, I've done some goofy stuff on boats, but that is by far the worst spill I think I've ever taken. I want to show you guys my tripod. <laughs> so when that one fish hit, I set the hook so hard that my SLO camera, which I'm using now, I had that on this tripod. Bad idea, I know. Um, I don't think YouTube reimburses for lost cameras. But anyway, um, I saw this thing go over as I set the hook into a little two-pounder. I jumped back and hit the deck, grabbed this thing, and saved it about 12 inches above uh, before it got in. Saved my camera, destroyed my tripod, but and I actually caught the fish, that was pretty cool. But wow, so I'm gonna go toss this thing right now. Um, and that was a wild day. Yeah, <sighs> like a